learn how to live stream on YouTube from your iPhone or your Android device. In this video, you're gonna learn three things. One, how to go live from the YouTube mobile app. Step by step number two, how many subscribers you need in order to use this app and alternatives for you if you don't have enough subscribers. And number three, I'm gonna show you a quick trick for actually getting more oomph from your description. Let's do it. If you're new around here, type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you are new, I'm pretty sure you don't know who I am. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Laurie Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, and I help you create more professional live video that is uniquely you. Now, before we get into the demo, one very, very, very important thing you need to know, which is that in order to use the mobile app for YouTube, you do have to have a thousand subscribers on your channel. However, there are alternatives if you don't have a thousand subscribers just yet on YouTube. The two alternatives are Streamlabs, the mobile app, which is available on iPhone and Android or Switcher Studio, which is available only on iOS, but also gives you a lot more capabilities in producing pro mobile live video. And don't you worry, we've got you covered because we're working on videos on exactly how to use those apps and everything you need to know. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on those notifications in order to be notified when those go live. And if they are already live, you'll find the links in the description. All right, let's get on to demo. All right, we're gonna just open up the YouTube app, and this is the same on Android or iPhone, and there's this little button here that says plus video, because that's what exactly it says. It doesn't say a word. <laughs> and you're going to click either video, live, story, or post, of course, we're going to click live. Say hi to you right here. <laughs> All right, so you have to set up the app in portrait mode and then we can go landscape. I'll walk you through that. All right, so you're gonna type in your enticing title, something awesome. It's gonna like catch people's attention, but a little quick trick to actually getting more attention is to go into your emojis and maybe add a little red live button or you could do, you know, a, a, an emoji face. So you can choose whatever emoji works best for you. You probably wanna keep it to one. Uh, don't go crazy here. Now choose your privacy settings. Public, of course, because you want people to see it. Uh, you can choose your location if you want. And then we're going to make sure that you choose whether it's for kids or not. And then you can go to more options, advanced settings. Uh, you can allow chats or you can schedule it for later. We're just gonna keep going right now. Now you can also switch the camera to the rear camera or to the front camera. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out, you notice it's black and white. It's gonna stay black and white in the setup process. That way, when you are color, you're in full color, you know that you are live. All right, now we're gonna click next. And wait, it's going to ask us to take a thumbnail. Now, I don't like this one, so I'm gonna click the pencil and we're going to retake. Now you could also upload a thumbnail if you've prepped this in advance. All right, now we're gonna click go live. Now it's gonna give you some direction here. Rotate to stream in landscape, or if you do want to stream in portrait, you could just click right here. We're going to rotate and it's immediately going to go live. All right, now we are live and we've got people here. They're commenting and we can scroll to see all of the comments that are coming through. We've got Alberto and Alan and Leo Fire here and Tommy up above and they will continue to pop up on screen. You'll see if no one is commenting for a few seconds, it'll actually kind of disappear and then their comments will come back up. That's to keep you just kind of focused on what's going on. Uh, so you've got a few options here. You're gonna see the live up here that tells you how long you have been live for and that you are live because it's red. <laughs> and then you're gonna see the viewer count. So at the moment, we just went live. There are 19 people here. And how many likes there are? You guys, I'm disappointed. There are 19 people watching and only three likes. 
Come on now. <laughs> All right, and then now I have a light right here, but you do have an X here. That is where you will close out and stop your live stream. Now down here in the bottom panel, you've got a few options. You can click back and forth between the front camera and the rear camera. Well, hello, David. Oh, you look serious. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna come back to me because he looked a little scary. And then you can, you know, you have the ability to, to customize your chat. You can go top chat, live chat, super chat only, or you can hide all of your chat messages. Uh, if you have a ton of chats coming, it might be helpful to really drill down some of those chats, chat messages, so that you're seeing only, you know, the more important ones to you in that moment. And then you also have some control filters here. Uh, you can like add all kinds of filters here and Ooh, hello, disco party. <laughs> All right, we're going, oh no, let me get rid of that. Hold on, we're going back to normal. <laughs> I don't wanna be disco party this whole time. And then you can click these little three buttons. You can share it while you're live. You can save a highlight, which is fantastic if something crazy fun happens. Um, you can mute your microphone. Uh, because there are times when you might wanna do that while you're live, you'd be like, hold on. I need to gripe David out real quick. Mute. Now you see we've got a couple of different types of super chats, right? We've got a 199 one, and this is going to flash uh, one color. And then the 999 one, right? This was the yellow, it flashed yellow. So we can actually do some really cool things with YouTube Live and flat lights flashing and things popping up on screen when we're using our pro setup. And now that we've gotten some super chats, look up here in the top, you can actually see how much revenue you've made from this video. So we've made $11 from just going live today to shoot this YouTube video. I call that a win. <laughs> All right, so that is all you need to know while you're live. When you're ready to end the stream, you're just going to click the little X up here and it's going to verify. Are you sure you want to end this stream? Yes, I would do. Bye everyone. And now we are going to get a wrap up uh, analytics about what happened during our stream, what the average watch time was, how many peak concurrence, how many, how much we made in super chats. For a quick behind the scenes stream, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna click done and it's going to publish. Well, there you go. That is how you go live on YouTube from the mobile app. And be sure to check out the links in the description to live stream from your mobile device under a thousand subscribers. And if you want step-by-step -step training in order to take your live streams to the next level, to the pro level, we would love to help you out. That link is in the description as well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.